Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here coming at you with another <laughs> Boom and um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be looking at something kind of Kind of strange and that's gonna be there's a video that was released on Ubisoft North America and it's called for honor past present and future trailer Ubisoft NA and basically what they basically say in this is you know, they've done stuff over the years you know the game kind of started out poopy and then they made it better as time has gone on which i definitely agree with but um the the main focal point of this video is literally like it's like a, the last like i think it's like it's like maybe four seconds and what it is it's it's there's a there's a knight and then they're like oh no i'm going to get the killed and then they turn around and there's a dude with the sword in their face and now the, the the real question is what does this sword represent now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna throw out a couple couple of my theories obviously this is up for debate as we we don't really know anything that's going on but so first off main thing you want to look at is the sword now i've had i've had a lot of debates with many people and you know i it, it's kind of hard to say for sure what the sword is i've had people saying you know it's a it's a scimitar it's a falchion it's a some sort of chinese sword it's 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 a lot of different things but in my humbled opinion i'm gonna go with it some sort of arabic scimitar just doing google searches and kind of looking stuff up it kind of looks to be that shapeish kind the, the one thing that was really throwing me off is that uh the guard is actually that uh very similar to what like a falchion would would use but if if we're if we're looking at a new faction potentially which is what i think this is uh entailing is i don't think they would be using a falchion because that was a pretty european weapon and knights are kind of european and so are even uh vikings those are like nordic northern european type uh of a faction so i i think we're, we're going somewhere different with this so as i said i think it's probably some sort of like arabic scimitar so that would lead me to believe that there's an Arabic faction potentially or a Persian faction coming along. Um, another thing that kind of gives us away, not really uh, gives it away, but kind of adds some context to it is the background. It's kind of deserty. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a, a background that we haven't really seen and it, and it looks a lot more like a dry environment. So that's kind of what I'm thinking on that. You know, it's there's there's a lot of discussion going around this. I mean, as the video said that they they said they had surprises but this is just obviously one of them so i think that we're going to be getting kind of three things at e3 this is my my guess i think that we're going to be getting a new faction potentially factions and they're just showing us one to kind of be cool that'd be crazy if they doubled the factions could you imagine that if we had six but um also i think that we're going to be adding more story content i feel if they add a faction they have to tie it in somehow they really like doing that storytelling over at ubisoft and um i i think that we would get more story content maybe tie some stuff in together that'd be pretty pretty, pretty cool maybe see some cool cutscenes and, and whatnot i i for one am a sucker for story but the the four honor story experience wasn't like super great <laughs> to to put it lightly but i i think we'd be getting um a new faction some story content and then i think they'll probably tie this in with some sort of new game mode maybe some sort of larger siege because as as we see the battle depicted here you know there's there's a bunch of people obviously they've shown cinematics like this with a bunch of people and we still only have you know 4v4 with minions but if if they release a faction uh story content and some like crazy new game mode that we haven't thought of that would be literally insane and i think it would bring tons and tons of people to uh to this to the game i think that's 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 definitely a cause to bring people in i mean the game's in a way better state than it was before but i think that that would be insane so let me know what you guys think this sword is um i i think the main things that people are saying it's either some sort of arabic scimitar or it's a falchion i think those are kind of the two main ones it's potentially a, a, a mongol sword um if we're being completely honest i kind of want the uh the the faction to be either a mongol or rajput warrior just so i can say that my video was right and that i'm a smarty pants but it's it's, it's unlikely potentially mongol i could see that but the the wrist guard kind of throws me off at looking at a mongol i feel like that's not a not, not a type of guard that they would be using but you know it's all up for discussion i'm sure tons of people are going to be dissecting this and kind of giving their own opinions on it um also they said that they've put out over 5,000 things of content uh, we delivered more than 5,000 new pieces of content we're delivering new content every week 
and this, we all know those are battle outfits. I mean, come on, guys. I just had to throw this out there. This is like my kneecap before the kneecap. This is recorded before the the Warriors Den, so I, I don't exactly know what they talk about on there. I doubt that they're going to talk about what they what they showed in this, but um, yeah, just wanted to do a quick little video, some you know dissecting it. I'm sure other people have as well, and um, I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm pretty sure I gotta do a little Google search real quick e3 2018 i think it's june 11th um june 12th june 12th through 14th so i'm not sure what date ubisoft is going to be there but um it should be pretty litty and i'm i'm definitely hyped if if we get a new faction that's going to be super sweet it's going to bring a ton they, they would have to give them at, at, at least three or four characters right if they wanted to match it how you know season one was with the characters there was you know four characters in each faction at least i think there was four so that would be crazy getting four brand new characters i would be super super happy and i'd be playing the game non-stop so like i said if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe